So this is another game in the OI, the Tier 6 Japanese Heavy. Um, and so what I really wanted to highlight in this particular match was what, how do you play this tank as, as the bottom tier and how do you take, play it specifically against teams that have higher armor. Uh, so in the last uh, highlight that we talked about for this tank, uh, we basically showed how to bully and showcase the depression and soft stats of the tank. Um, in this particular round, we're going to show, we're going to talk about playing a support tank um, and how you play a, you know, a low tier heavy in, in these types of games and be effective. And so our AP and heat uh, don't uh, have enough pen for a lot of their armor tanks in terms of, you know, the Tiger 2 KV-4. And, and even the IS-3, depending on, on where and how we shoot it. Um, but uh, there are other tanks that we can uh, potentially pen. Uh, even the IS, uh, we're going to have struggle. We're going to struggle to pen with regular AP, but we can pen it with heat. Um, the T-29 we can pen uh, in the side, uh, but otherwise, we, you know, it's, we, we need to be a little bit careful. So what we, we're, we're going to do is we're going to start moving forward, and when we do, we watch and always and see what our team does. And so our Super Pershing is going down this six line with the IS. There's a Tiger that's going to the outside, T-34-3 is, is out in the field. We have some guys over here, and we spot a couple of their armor tanks, right? So these are the tanks that we're really concerned about, because the, these are the tanks we're going to struggle against, KV-4 and IS-3 on the other side of the map. So that means they're not on my side and so I need to make sure that I get myself into a position where especially if this IS and, and Super Pershing start to push that we can do something. And I'm watching these guys out here as well. Uh, I need to be cognizant of the fact that they do have artillery. Well, unfortunately our dude has... It's a trap! And so that was not a very good shot. Uh, it was really just a hope shot, uh, but that is fine uh, against the T-69. Uh, I'm still loading heat because I can potentially pen the T-69. There's a 3002D that's moving up that three line, but he's not that much of a concern. Our team is playing a little bit conservative on this time, on this side. I'm watching our Super Persian and our IS, and our Super Persian and our IS are still uh, back there, although our IS is moving forward now. This Comet is moving forward, but see how the T-69 left that area to chase the Comet? This Tiger is coming up through over here with the T-34, so I know that I can push down here at least to some extent because anybody that was back here is going to be flexing over to, to get these guys. And so... What I still want to do is I want to prevent these guys, the T-69 IS, from coming over to help oh, on this side. It's a trap! Like this T-29 currently is. And so we're able to get a, a nice rear shot on that. We know where the M-12 is. Uh, presumably the artillery is not down in this area, so I need to just protect myself from artillery from the west. So they have a bunch of guys out here now, but it's going to be difficult for me to push down here. But our guys are pushing over forward over here. And so again, I'm looking to support them. And so that's another heat shell through the shoulder of the IS. And we're going to push across here. So we've got the super pushing the IS here. They just need to a little bit of e-bravery to get in here. And the IS is able to pen me. But see how that Super Pershing is coming in now? Perfect. This is what you want. And so we still have heat loaded. Our Super Pershing is sort of pushing this T-69. And the T-69 is shooting me instead of the Super Pershing that's charging him. But that's fine. He gets tracked by the Super Pershing. Our IS went to the same side as the Super Pershing, which is not really what you want to see, but that's going to allow us to shoot him. And so they're still pushing up through this side. That's something we need to keep an eye on. Our guys kind of got pushed over here. Our T-34-3 is still alive. And the T-29 is coming up behind me. It's a trap! The nice thing is that the back of this tank is just as armored as the front of this tank. It's got 150 pen. We have AP loaded. So this is a little bit of a sketchy shot. I need to make sure that I hit him well. The base AP has 121 pen. And so our IS is getting pushed over there, but our Super Pershing and the IS are out on that line. So that's fine. So our T-34-3 is over here. He's cleared off this side. And so I, what I want to do is make sure that if he pushes in here, he can't get flanked from this side. So I'm going to go and cover over here. I can't really push these guys per se. I can cover this Super Pershing uh, if it comes to it. 
but the super parachute is playing a little bit soft the ARL is going to be able to, to the first one in, in fire this KV-4 is going to come around on him we know the T-20 was just lit over here so we want to be able to start pushing down this lane which is going to prevent our super parachute from getting, continuing to get shot in the ass and so I want to shoot this uh, artillery if I can but I don't the hill is a little bit too much. And so this T-20 is a tank that I can bully. So if bully, then bully. And so we preserve the backside of our team over here. The T-34-3 gets the artillery down, so I still want to get this T-20 out of the way for him, so that he's got one less thing to worry about. It's a trap! And then in the meantime, the KV-85 pushes up behind us, and then again, the nice thing about this tank is that the back of the tank is just as armored as the front of the tank. You just want to try to avoid overexposing the sides, and our 34-3 is, is able to finish them off. And so our 34-3 is on cap, um, so all I really need to do is screen. There's a T-150 here, and it's giving us a little bit of side. I already had heat loaded. Um, if I should switch to HE here, uh, but I didn't want him to get a sh free shot on our uh, T34-3, and so the heat hits the side uh, armor, the, the track area of the tank, and of the spaced armor tends to get eaten. Um, our artillery is in a position where you can shoot this T-150. All I have to do is keep him lit. It's a trap. And I still should have uh, reloaded to HE there, um, but bad decisions by me. And again, this is a, a tank where you need to think and make sure that you properly decide which uh, uh, shell you're going to use. And unfortunately, I eat it there. But it doesn't really matter, so the timer was almost up on our 34-3, uh, capping out. So no matter what happens here, we end up killing all the tanks, but uh, no matter what happens here, uh, that's that's going to be a win, which is what you want to see. Okay, and so what happened there? So what ended up happening is we pushed forward. Our we had a tier eight and a tier seven, right? A tier eight, uh, the super pershing, which is basically like a, a very armored tank in this type of game, and a tier seven IS, which is a reasonably armored tank in, in this game. Our thirty four dash three and our tiger went to the beach, and so we went through this middle to try to essentially help out both sides, right? And again, once our guys started pushing forward on the beach, uh, it was important to try to come out here to prevent like that T-69 uh, and the uh, IS from pushing over and helping out our guys. We didn't know the T-29 was there, but we found out the T-29 was there. We were able to get a, a shot off on him. Um, but that pretty much was the extent of our ability to, to support those guys. Um, we ended up going towards the inside uh, and we were able to, to help out um, with our with our super person and our IS and pushing. You have to be a little bit brave for them. Uh, you know, we started pushing on that IS and then they pushed in. And then you ho you hope that they don't all go on the same side, which, you know, really overexposes. The T-69 really just drove around in the, in the other direction. Um, you don't want to be three stooges like that. Um, like if the T if the super Persian is going around this side, it's very easy for the IS to go around the other side, and then really the the T sixty nine has nowhere to go, um, and so flanking is 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 very important. And then it was just a matter of clearing this out, right? Because our super Persian IS had moved up here, the T twenty was shooting him in the rear. Clear this out, and then just screen the cap because our our thirty four dash three was on the cap, and it was very easy for us to to light this guy. Our, our artillery missed him once, but they but he he splashed him once as well. Um, and I should have switched to HE there anyways, because then I could have just taken the snapshot instead of uh, firing HE, which which would have made things more difficult. So anyways, um, when we look at the stats, so we're able to deal a lot of damage as the bottom tier 
um, essentially by playing a support tank, playing through the seams, uh, making sure that we're covering our, our higher tiers. In some cases, we have to push for them, um, but in the most, for the most part, making sure that we cover and help our team. And that, that's really how you need to play these um, lower tier heavy tanks, uh, or when you're low tier in these heavy tanks. Um, make sure that you're not sniping from the back, that you're not waiting for people in front of you to die. You know, make sure that you keep your gun active and, and be sure that you, you help out your team in some way. Again, a uh, very good shot to damage ratio. Uh, a lot of that we had to fire a little bit more heat in this in this particular game because of the armor of the tanks that we were up against. Uh, but we still had a couple AP pens like on the T29, T20, uh, Tier 7 tanks like that. And so that's a matter of, of knowing when you can bully and, and when you're going to get bullied and when you can when you need to support your team. Um, and so that's how you play this particular tank when you're when you're bottom tier. Uh, so I hope that was helpful, and uh, thanks for watching.